What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cracker Hunters. I'm Carolina Hitman, and today I got a special guest host once again. I'm Angel. Yes, my boy, the newest. Again, like I said, couldn't make it because he had to work, but things must go on. Sorry, exactly. newbies. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but um, of course, you know we've been doing our tournament of power, and today we got two more participants for you. So these two are pretty. E I think they're pretty equal. I, um, I know some people may not agree, but we're going to go into depth about that. Yeah. But um, our two participants today are Frank Martin, and that's, uh, what is his name? I cannot remember his name for the life of me. Isn't that dude from the Crank series? Yeah. I hated that movie. Yeah. But we got Frank Martin from the Transporter series versus Martin Riggs, which is um, <sighs> Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson's character from Lethal Weapon. Yeah. So, Jason Statham, that's the guy's name. Jason Statham. Yeah, okay. Jason Statham. That's it. Yep. Ha, I and knew I was going to remember it. <laughs> also, we're discussing uh, Mel Gibson's character in the first three. No, first two. First two. When he was in his prime. With the weapons. Yeah, yeah, so we're not doing three and four, which I, uh, three still, I think, technically was in his prime, but we're just going to focus on Martin Riggs from Lethal Weapon 1 and 2. Okay. So that's when he was in his prime, in my opinion. So, yeah, this is going to be a good matchup. Yeah, I think it's going to be a close one. All right, first what we're going to do is we're going to go over the rules of our Tournament of Power. First rule, knives are allowed. So each participant is allowed to have knives on them when they meet their fellow combatant. Okay. Uh, second rule, it's a random encounter. Neither participant knows about either or, either or the other person. It's just random. They meet each other and decide they don't like each other and want to fight. Uh, final rule, no firearms. This is a strictly a hand-to-hand -hand combat match. So no firearms are allowed. Okay. So first what we're going to do is we're going to discuss Martin Riggs. Hmm. And we know his crazy ass for as um, Danny Glover's partner in Lethal Weapon. Right. And we get a sense of how crazy he is um, in the first movie when he does some crazy shit, jumping off buildings and stuff exactly. like that. <laughs> but um, Martin Riggs, no, he's, uh, he's been trained by, he's actually a special forces operative. Um, he's efficient in special weaponry and hand-to-hand -hand combat okay. and he was a uh, part of the he was an assassin for the CIA and the Phoenix Project which we find that out in the first movie but um so we got Martin Riggs right here so we've seen him through well again two movies that's all we're focusing on mm -hmm. and we see in the, at the end of the first movie we actually see how good he is in hand-to-hand -hand combat yeah. when he fights a fellow um, special Forces operative. Uh, I forgot that dude's name. The dude with the blonde hair. Yeah, that's why I was about to ask you. The tall dude with the blonde hair. Yeah. yeah the crazy dude. Yeah. yeah one that just took the lighter to the arm and just it's didn't like, say I nothing. Don't give a fuck. Right. <laughs> so yeah. So Martin Riggs, man. You can see he's a he's a really good fighter. Uh, he's crazy, and I think crazy always gives you an advantage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it always does. So. Uh, you got anything to add to Martin Riggs? Um, not really. I just think he was a good fighter. Uh, overall, he was able to take on multiple people at the same time. Right. Um, his his fighting skills are impeccable, and like I said, he had training in the army. Was it the, yep. special, the special forces, forces also? Yep. So he has that training too. He's trained to kill somebody. Right. And you know, special forces, they are trained to kill. Yeah. No mercy. Just yeah. knife to the neck. Just and, uh, slump down. And once down. again, you, like you said, he's psychotic. He doesn't care. Right. At that point in time, he had lost his wife. Mm -hmm. So he, you could think he really snapped. Right. He was on the edge. He didn't really care if he lived or died. Uh, he, he put himself in situations that tried to get him killed. Right. Which, unfor which fortunately for us, he, it didn't. But he put himself in situations to where he tried to get killed. <laughs> So I think, like I said, Martin Riggs, man, is a good combatant. I can't wait to see what y'all think against his opponent, mm -hmm. Frank Martin. Now, we've seen him in the Transporter series, and Frank Martin is actually a Special Forces operative. And, <clears throat> excuse me, so I'm looking at, the, looking at my notes just in case so I get it right. And he's actually um, the team leader of a Search and Destroy unit. Mm -hmm. So he is efficient in hand-to-hand -hand combat and special weaponry as well. So I think... Well, I, I want to continue on with, um, with Frank Martin. I think he is a very good fighter. Mm -hmm. And we see that from the Transporter movies where he's fought multiple opponents at one yeah. time. You know, breaking legs. He even fought on an oil slick. <laughs> That's the thing. He fought on an oil slick and beat them dudes asses. Right. <laughs> I like the fight scene from on the bus. Yes. Where he was uh, damn near killing people on the bus. But... 
You, the only thing, the reason why I don't think he might win because he has a conscience. And no. he did not kill two people on that bus when he had an opportunity to. Right. So that means he has some type of conscience to where he might not, he'll fuck you up, but he might not kill you. Right. And I think, well, I still think, well, I think that is not really per se a disadvantage because Martin Riggs has a conscience. He may be wanting to die but he's not gonna take other people with him. He's still a cop, and he's, and he's still protecting people, right. and he does have a conscience. Like, he's not just gonna just know, he's not a psychopath, just has no conscience whatsoever, and just wants to kill people. Not, not saying that he doesn't have a conscience, but he's at a point to where his brain has mentally snapped, to where he does not relate to normal human being type of stuff. Right. So, I, that's why I would think he would more win that fight than the other one. Now, the only reason why I say probably Frank Martin might win because we get a, we get a better, we get a better judge, judgment on his skills as far as a fighter in his movies. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think, like I said, because they're both, as far as being special forces operatives, they're both equal in that. So, they, so I think they both know the, the same, fighting basically style. Basically yeah. the same type the same, of fighting style. Right, the same type of fighting style. But the only thing is we get a better sense of how skilled Frank Martin is from his fight scenes in his movie and you know fighting you know on the bus the old yeah. slick and everything like that We're not talking about that that nonsense. He does in his car. That's just ridiculous. Okay, but if you take the fact that um, uh, What is his name? Martin. Uh, Martin's character if you take the fact that if he wasn't a cop mm, that's, What do you think his fighting skills would be then? I if think, he wasn't a cop to protect and serve people and he was just out hmm. What if he was the actual the villain of it? Ooh, that's actually a good point. Yeah, yeah. If he was Who a villain. Who do you think would win Ooh. then? I don't know if he was actually an actual villain. <laughs> right. When he was trying to kill people. I don't know. That's a good point because yeah, he may. Ugh, that's. That's neck that's, and neck. Then. Yeah, it is neck and neck because like I said, their fighting styles are going by their military history are equal. Right. You know, that's that's without a doubt they're equal as far as their fighting style. It's just that I think we get a a better. A better sense of the of his skill in the transporter movies than we get in Lethal Weapon. You know, Lethal Weapon we don't get we well we do get to see some hand to hand fighting, right. but I don't think we get to see as much as we can do in the transporter. And that's what we're basing that it off is of. That's true. But the, then you for have these characters. to take uh, the the year, the time frame. Well, it's true. They're not going to be able to produce a lot of the fight skills like they did in the trans uh, well, that's transporter true. Right. versus lethal, lethal weapon. Right, because lethal weapon is a lot more gritty right. and a lot more dirty and you know just down in the mud as we saw in the lights fight, fight scene in lethal weapon. Mm -hmm. You know, just in the mud. So I mean, it's this is a pretty equal fight. This is pretty close. I think it's neck and neck with them because they have the exact same type of training. They come from the exact same background. You can't pick one over the other when they're equal. Right. So that could that's, be a tie on that fight. That's true. Man. I mean, I, I this is going to be a tough one to decide. I so I don't know which one. I, I it's hard to pick a particular one because based on their military history, mm -hmm. they are equal and on equal footing. So it's pretty hard to tell which one would actually win. And I think, like I said, Riggs is a lot more, he can get down and dirty. Right. And I think, you He's know, more rogue, I think, than the other characters. Yeah, than Frank. Be. Yeah, I, that, that's a good point. Like, he's, yeah. Like, yeah. So this is going to be a pretty close match. And I'm in, I am curious to see all of your opinion on this matter. Because this is going to be a tough one to decide. I'm not going to give an opinion on this video because it's, it's too equal for me. I don't want to do it. I agree. It is a very equal fight, but if you take certain elements and take away certain characteristics of Mel Gibson's character, and like I said, you take him out of the police type of situation and put him in a villain type of situation, I would think that Mel Gibson would probably be a good close fight. No, it's, it was going to be a close fight anyway. Yeah, or it, he might kill him. Well, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, everybody, that's the end of this video. Is that because you got anything else to add to it? Uh, no, that's it. Just give, uh, shoot down your opinions on who do you think will win the fight and let us know. That's right. So uh, thank you all for joining us. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to get notified of our newest videos. But um, I'm Carolina Hitman. And I'm Angel. We thank you for joining Cracker Hunters. We'll see you all next time. Peace.